greetings. Traveler, what brings you to this castle on such a lovely day? Well, I heard that there's a dragon living in these parts, and I thought, why not come say hello? Oh, you must be referring to our dear neighbor, Smog the Magnificent. He's quite friendly, but I'm afraid he's not a fan of the invited guests. Have you brought any gifts? Gifts? I am Rimrim, the Slayer of the Dire Boar. My presence is gift enough. Plus, I can offer him the chance to test his fire breath against my powerful shield. Who wouldn't want that kind of entertainment? Well, I must say Smog has enjoyed the challenge, but I must warn you, his fire breath is hotter than a dragon's temper on a morning morning. Are you sure you're up for it? Up for it? Ha! I eat fire for breakfast, and for lunch, I feast on the tears of my enemies. So bring on Smog, I'll be ready for him. But first, let's have a drink to celebrate our impending victory. I'm afraid I can't join you for a drink, Rimrod. As a druid, I prefer to keep a clear mind in a pursuit, but I'll make sure to have a cup of chamomile ready for when you return, victorious or otherwise. Now, shall we go meet Smog? Oh, we shall meet Smog, my dear Aura. And when we do, I'll make sure to introduce him to my trusty battle axe and my charming personality. Of course. No, lead the way. Let's go make a dragon friend. Well, I hope you'll remember to use your charming personality more than your battle axe. After all, a good conversation can often solve more problems than a swing of a wee palm. Are you ready to meet Smog? Ready? I was born ready. And if Smog isn't, then he'd better start getting ready. Rimrod is about to make his mark on this dragon fill land. Now, the way, Smog, dear droid, let's go make some history. Well, let's hope this story we make today doesn't involve getting roasted by a dragon, shall we? Getting roasted by a dragon? That's not how Rimrod goes down in history. No, 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 Rimrod goes down in history as the guy who tamed the dragon and made it his loyal steed. Now, let's go see if Smog's ready to take his place in the annals of Rimrod's legend. Well, I suppose it wouldn't be the first time Smog has been asked to play a supporting role in someone else's story. Let's go see if he's feeling up for it today. Feeling up for it? Eh. Smog will be begging for more after he sees what I'm capable of. But just in case, do you any spare chamomile tea for him? I hear it's quite soothing for burnt scales. I'm afraid I don't have any chamomile tea for Smog, Rimrod, but I do have some healing ointment for burns, just in case. And if Smog does end up roasting you, I can always use your ashes as fertilizer for my mushroom garden. Uh, you think Smog could roast me? I'm Rimrod, the slayer of the dire boar. My skin is as tough as a dragon's scales, and my bear is as fiery as their breath. But just in case, can you make sure to use my shoes to fertilize a tree? I don't want it to become a mighty oak in the afterlife. Well, I suppose that's one way to become a tree, Rimrod. But let's focus on staying alive for now, shall we? I have a feeling Smog might have a few surprises in store for us. Can you at least promise me you won't try to ride him like a pony? What? Of course not. I'm a warrior, not a jester. Unless, do you think Smog would appreciate a little horsey ride? I promise I'll wear a funny hat and everything. I think Smog would appreciate it more if you showed him some respect and treated him as an equal, rather than a mere pony. But if you insist on wearing a funny hat, I'm sure he'll get a good laugh out of it. Now, let's go meet our neighbor and see what kind of adventure awaits us. 